Getting a laser to point in the right direction is the bread and butter and the cheese of optical alignment. In high school you might have learned that in 3D space the direction of a line is defined by six variables. A point on a line and a vector pointing along it. Surprisingly, in optical beam steering we can get away with four degrees of freedom. These four degrees are usually tip and tilt of a pair of mirrors. The second mirror defines the direction upwards and downwards and leftwards and rightwards as an angle. The first mirror defines uh, lateral positions, so top, down, left, right. You tilt it, it also changes the direction of the beam, so it needs a bit of correction from the second mirror. The two are hands uh, coupled and you need to iterate between the two mirrors to get the beam controlled. Let's steer this beam here through the two panels on the right. Place two mirrors in kinematic mounts and make sure that the adjusters are in the middle of the range. Use the grid of holes as a guideline, that really helps. Put the mirrors in their mounts down on the table in more or less the correct positions, as good as you can manage, and make sure that they are not too far apart, that makes alignment a lot easier. When you are happy with the placement, bolt them down properly. I want my beam to go through these two pinholes. As a rule, the first mirror acts on the first pinhole, and the second mirror acts on the second pinhole. I narrow down the iris and use my first mirror to adjust the beam so that it goes through the center. Then I open that iris again and use the second mirror to adjust the beam position on the second pinhole. When I close the first iris you can see that the beam no longer goes there through the center, so I have to go back to my first mirror and iterate adjustment process. And now the beam goes through both pinholes. So just with two mirrors you can steer the beam in any direction. Going back to the intro, why did we get our way with 4 degrees of freedom? Well, we don't have to define a line in 3D space, just with respect to the incident beam. In rare cases, the adjusters cannot be tip and tilt. Then it is also possible to use tilt and 1D translation on both mirrors. I leave it to you why tip and tilt of one mirror and 2D translation of the other is not enough. See you next time.